close to it or, or having some kind of informational meetings where when we do have a final design. I, I am reluctant to do that until we have the final design because right. I, I, you know, what's going to happen. The final design, right? No, I wouldn't do it before the final, but I'm just saying we, we want to make sure that we do something with the public. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I think when they when they submit their conceptual plan that the, that the uh, review board agrees to and accepts, I think that's probably a time that you okay. could you could go to the town's people and say, look, this is this is where this thing's headed. Not only that, it'll start driving maybe another business to come in and, Possibly. and start. Oh, if they're going to get going now, we will. Yep. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's push it. Yep. Yeah. So that concludes anything I had to say. Anybody else? Um, Lee, are you still with us? I am, question. And maybe this is, um, I don't need to know right now. It, it might be a discussion for the rest of the committee at some point. Um, is there a plan to open the RFP again? Is it still open? Is there plans to, I guess, kind of um, for the additional properties, has the RDIC thought about any of that? I know I kind of sometimes, like, we, I think it's as a town should look at if the town wants any of that land for town buildings or town space or whatever, um, and also consider other options as well. So I wasn't sure. Well, let me just, uh, to that point, let me get back to um, our last meeting, let me just kind of, if you bear with me, I'll read you. Uh, this was a, a major topic of discussion. Um, okay. And I'll just, I'll read you this rather lengthy paragraph. Uh, Mike shared with the select, that the select board of the Endor Town Administrator would like to put out an RFP for the remaining parcels at the Heights property. Ron explained that he's been tasked with encouraging economic development and he sees parcel C as a great location for I'll skip over all the details of hotels and so on and so forth. Um, he said, putting out an RFP is not urgent, but it's critical to continue to develop the town in ways that residents like to see. Jim and Mike both shared the same sentiment that there shouldn't be such a rush because once these parcels are sold, they're gone for good. Tim sees one of the two remaining parcels as a good option for expanding town buildings such as a town hall, public safety, but Ron didn't feel the municipal growth is the right direction. Bonnie shared that she had met with uh, Bob Oriel, who owns and operates Oriel Rehab in Holden. And basically he was interested, but since then has come back and said he's not. Mich Michelle feels that it will be difficult, difficult to draw in businesses because Rutland is not a, a, a to-go community or close to major access road. She added that there is land on the outskirts of town um, that be appropriate for light industrial use. Overall, the opinion of the commission, this is the most important part, I guess I could have just read this. Overall, the opinion of the commission was to wait until Harbor Classic Home completes the development of parcel A, and then the other parcels can be looked at further. So I, 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 after a general discussion, we, we, I think we, I don't remember whether we voted on it or not, but we certainly agreed as a group that we should be doing nothing with the other parcels right now. Let's get Harbor Classic Homes not necessarily complete, but up and running, and then let's see where we are. Yeah, and I just wonder, I, and this I think might be for you guys also, but if at some point it would make sense to kind of do an outreach meeting to the public, because it, um, town demographics have changed a ton in the, in the what, two decade, decade and a half or so, decade that um, the towns had the property. So I don't know, not necessarily that that puts a whole lot of weight in the final direction, but just to get feedback from the community um, once Harbor Homes is up and, go, you know, like you just said, up and going and kind of moving forward. Um, you know, we have the town center study data and then we, um, which is complete. We're working on the town master plan, which I think the RDIC master plan will fit into that also. Um, but I don't know if there's any want or desire to just, um, engage the public again at some point, and I'm not sure how or when that time would be. Okay, yeah, we just talked about that a second ago. We think we should uh, at least make the town aware of once this plan is is agreed upon, uh, make the town aware, of town's people aware of it then, and then perhaps what you're talking about should follow as well. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I did catch this piece about making, you know, updating the town on the, the current plan project once everything is I's are dotted and T's are crossed and, and everything. Um, but I was thinking more about the the, the additional parcel, parcel is the future of the remaining property. That right. kind of thing. So okay, so, fair enough. And so, yep. I mean, it's up to you guys. It's definitely up for consideration on your committee. I don't want to push it one way or another, um, you know, so... I, well, and I apologize, I missed last month or the your previous meeting where you guys spent a lot of time discussing that. Sorry. Yeah. No, the only thing I'll say about that, um, Leah, is at least two years ago, I, in a, at a selectman's meeting, asked that the select board figure out whether there is interest in, in town development of parcels, whether it be recreation, whether it be, you know, public safety, town hall, whatever. And no one's ever taken that bull by the horns to do that. And I, I believe the selectmen should be, should be head manning that. Yep, I'll take it back with, you know, to, our, to the board as well um, for consideration. I know it's one of the considerations that we've kind of been thinking about in the back of our minds, just with the um, building study and everything that Ron had done. Um, and the repairs that the existing buildings need, but also looking towards future growth and the, the needs for a town as town grows. Yep. Okay. Michelle? Uh, just a of clarification. Um, if the town wants to use some of the parcel for a town property, they don't have to do the RFP process, right? No. We can just transfer that to the first. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anything else, Leah, before we? Move to oh, that's it. I appreciate all the work that you guys have been doing. I know it's been a lot, especially for you, Mike, Ron, and Dave, George. So I appreciate it. And I appreciate them needing updates, just even if it's not a lot of info, that you know the info gets out to the public from the sources rather than the rumors and everything. So thank you. Yeah, that's that's part of the reason I think I need to have a meeting, you know, every couple of months, even if there's not a lot going on, so that there aren't rumors and innuendos. Um, so it's nice to see you here. So you, you as a selectman are hearing what is actually happening. Yeah, and I appreciate all the work you guys are doing and have done. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Don't adjourn this yet. Okay. Um, is there does anybody have anything else before? Yes. Did you see Ron's email regarding um, the Boy Scouts that want to use the property um, to launch their rockets? Rockets. Rockets. Yeah. So they. I think they did that once before. Yeah. They have so. Ron just asked if we could get the board's permission for them to do that. I have not seen the, the request, but yeah, I'm sure we have no problem. Check your email. Yeah. Ron did send it to you. It's this afternoon, I believe. Oh, I, and I said I would mention it just since we were meeting. Okay. Where would they be firing these? Oh, oh. <laughs> Jim, you are I love it. I'm saying I'm sorry. For a minute there, I'm going, where are the gas pumps? <laughs> what a dope I am. I'd actually volunteer to have them do it at my house. I mean, I got a perfect spot to do it. But um, Let anyway. me check real quick because I, okay. I have the email. Let me just <laughs> see. Yes. If... <laughs> um, right over my head. Cub Scouts, sorry, not the Boy Scouts. Um, I don't know if you could just well, while, while Tamika's looking for that. Why we need to do a mold, we got to do it. It would have been perfect right there by Maple Lab. Yeah. Another people could have done that. Yeah. About using it for the winter stuff again, so that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, something else I, I, I forgot to mention before. Um, there, as you folks know, because we proved it at a meeting, um, we extended the inspection time period for a second time to September 24. No, to, to October 8th, from September 24th to October 8th. Well, on the 7th of October, Peter Campo also called me and went, Mike, he says, this, is, this slipped away from me because uh, it's their responsibility to you know, keep it updated. Um, we need to extend um, the inspection period because it expires tomorrow. So I said, well, I, I can't call a meeting that fast. So I said, okay, send me an extension letter and I'll sign it, which I did. And, and I extended it from October 8th to December 10th. So, uh, no, I've already done it. Uh, but but uh, part, part of the reason I'm mentioning it is, first of all, 
just to tell you that officially it was done. But uh, Michelle and Dick will remember that uh, at meeting years ago, it was agreed on by this committee that when something like that happens, if I just determine in my mind that it's the right thing to do, that I can just do it, you know, without. Um, so I'm only bringing it up because we've never talked about it with the new committee members. I just want to make sure that you, you guys just don't think I'm out, you know, on my own doing things without considering uh, you guys. So if anybody has a problem with that position that we took a couple of years ago, just speak now and we'll discuss it. Like what was the date it was extended to? Um, November 10th, is that what you said? December 10th. Oh, December 10th. Okay, thank you. And on the rockets, it says um, they have done this in the past. They would like to go up the driveway, up the dirt road, but would need the gate unlocked. They'd like to do this on Saturday, November 20th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. They would need access at 1030. They've already inquired with Jordan Farm, but their fields are too muddy. Okay. Um, why don't you give me the name of whoever that person is and I'll, or, and You're that was the, sent to me? Yes. Okay, um, I'll respond yep. to that. You, you should have the email as well. Um, yep, okay. Ron included you on that. I'll respond to that. Okay. All right, anything, anybody else? So you're, you're gonna come back to us. As, and why don't you, Dick, let me know as soon as you have concrete information and then it might be worth scheduling another meeting just to talk about that and decide what we're gonna do about it. Because my biggest concern is that if if we don't keep up with the, the lake side, you know, it's it's going to become very difficult to deal. And if we don't keep up with the Mosio side, we're going to end up having to do it again. I am I am going to try. I've got somebody. I've got the snow over in uh, Walnut Street, and maybe if I'm done with that and nothing else is happening, I may spend some time. I've already talked to you about yes, this, I know. and I've, I've, been, I've it's on my shoulders. I know. I just okay. We've we've talked about. It. And basically, what this is is, I don't think Dick should be doing that on his, on his own. I've expressed that to him, but he he's Dick, and he's. A, I'm bored, he, and I need I need the time and the track. <laughs> yeah, but you're a very committed, dedicated guy to the town, and you volunteer way more time and effort than you should. And I don't. The time is one thing, but when it costs you money. To run your tractor and fuel and well, that, that's uh, may, uh, the last time I was with my last time it was uh, not the best fuel. And oh. I, had, I had problems with my tractor, so I. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How can their fuel be bad? Yep. <laughs> huh? All right. Uh, anything else, Tamika? That was it. Motion to adjourn. Motion Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. What time is it? 539. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Tamika. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Leah.